Hello everyone. Today I will be reviewing the Sephora Micro Smooth Mineralized Powder. And this is what it looks like. Let me open it up. And this retails for $22 at Sephora. And my shade is Light 15. It says nude under that. I guess that's what it's called. And uh, let me just tell you some specifics about the product. It comes in 7 grams. This is 0.24 ounces of product. And it comes in 8 shades. Now, let me start off by saying I have dry skin. So, this... I'm not going to say it made my dry skin worse, but if you put on too much of this product, it will make your dry skin appear a little bit drier. Um, I have this over the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Foundation on right now. Um, okay, so this product provides light to medium coverage depending on how much you put on. And I've been using this for about a year and a half. This is my third one of these compacts. Um, it's not very good at controlling shine or oil. I mean, what I'm trying to say is that throughout the day, the oils in your skin will come out. And um, I, But I, it's not a problem for me because I always retouch up with this again. And apart from that, this is a great tube for the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. And this is the reason why I bought this, because I, I've been using MAC Mineralize Skin Finish for about two years. And I found that I go through that pretty quickly, and it was a bit pricey to buy over and over again. So this is a couple of bucks less, and um, I'd say it's a pretty good dupe for that product, the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. And... Um, there is a little bit of difference. I feel like the MAC powder is slightly more finely milled, but this does the job really well as well. So if you can't afford the MAC powder, I would really recommend buying the Sephora Micro Smooth Mineralized Powder. Thank you for watching.